Do you want to reduce clutter and bring more light and space into your home? Then this video might help you out. My name is Shachi and welcome back to my channel. There is nothing wrong in buying things that make you happy. In fact, to be honest, I love buying clothes and shoes. But over the last one year, there has been a general shift in my mindset and I just want to own fewer things. So in this video, I've put together a list of three things that I don't buy anymore simply because they don't make me happy. So if you are looking for tips on getting started on minimalism or just want to clear out some extra clutter and bring in more space into your home, then keep watching. One of the biggest changes that I have implemented in my living space this year has been reducing the number of home decor items that I buy and use around the house. It is so tempting to pick up cute things and buy knickknacks when you travel. But eventually, I would get bored of seeing them around and then look to buy new things. This cycle was never ending. So I've completely stopped buying home decor now. In fact, I prefer clean, open spaces. And if I feel the need to do up any space, then green plants are my choice of home decor. There is something so soothing and refreshing about having them around. They can instantly brighten up any space without making it look too overwhelming or crowded. In fact, I love this new chain so much that there are plants practically in every part of my house now. Don't worry, I'm not asking you to give up your favorite food, snack or meal option. But by fancy food, I am referring to dips, snack boxes, cereal boxes, drink mixes and anything else that has been bought without thinking about its use. Usually these are the things that you are going to try once and never come back to it and hence is best left alone in the supermarket. When it comes to food, I have realized that less is more and it's better to keep it simple. And this is the reason I have cut out all of it from my pantry, from my diet and from my home. A great tip that could help you out here is to try smaller portions or samples of the product to see if you really like it and if it fits into your eating habits and routine. Another tip would be to try out that ingredient in a restaurant or cafe before you bring it home. It's great to get a good bargain, but are you buying something just because it's cheap? I have done this in the past and don't do it anymore. The simple reason is I would end up with things that I would never use and eventually get rid of. The question to ask yourself is whether this particular item is useful to you now. Don't buy something thinking you will use it in the future or pass it on to someone else. Because the simple fact is if you do not have any use for it now, then it's just going to end up as junk and clutter in your house. So guys, these are the three things that I don't buy anymore. Is there something similar that you do? then please comment below and let us know. You can also get in touch with me via Instagram. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye.